Vectory is an online platform to turn your 3D designs into fantastic interactive experiences. It's all about efficiency and functionality. No coding required, and everything is accessible right from your browser. Let's get started. Before diving into your project, you have a few options. You can choose to open an empty scene, import to an empty scene, or open light presets. Let's begin with a preset to get things rolling. To import a 3D file, simply drag and drop it onto the canvas. Vectory supports over 60 file formats, so you have plenty of flexibility. If you prefer to create your design from scratch, use the tools located at the top. There are a variety of parametric primitive shapes to modify directly or apply deformers and generative tools such as booleans. Alternatively, you can just drag and drop objects from the Vectory Elements library with many pre-designed assets. If you're working in a team workspace, you can even access your colleagues' projects if needed. To navigate freely in the project, first exit the camera. When you click on an object, it gets selected and automatically highlighted. When the object is selected, press shortcut A to focus the camera on the object. To rotate, click and drag with the left mouse button. Use the right mouse button and drag to pan. Scroll to zoom in and out. Pressing the tab key allows you to switch between orthographic views for different perspectives. You can also select objects in the object panel menu. Now you can transform it using the gizmo. Use the arrows to move, the half circle to rotate, and the cubes to scale. Alternatively, you can transform the object directly in the right panel. You can also grab the pivot point to position the entire object on any surface. Your project is automatically saved every minute, so no need to worry about losing your progress. And if you make a mistake, simply use the shortcut Ctrl Z or Command Z to undo. If you ever need to revisit a past version of your project, the version history feature has got you covered. It's worth mentioning that you can edit your objects using mesh geometry as well. By double-clicking you will enter the edit mode. Clicking anywhere on the scene brings up the environment settings. Here, you can choose from various presets and use the rotate setting to adjust the environment to your liking. The panel also includes material settings, where you can apply materials from the library or create your own, including animated materials with lattes and GIFs. You can even save your own materials to your custom material library. On top of that, any 2D image can be imported and placed on an object as a sticker. All these changes can be made in the design mode. However, if you want to add animations to your 3D models, you can switch to the animate mode. In animate mode, you can create keyframe animations on a timeline, allowing for rotation, hovering, and movement. For interactive experiences, switch to the interact mode. Here, you can assign animations to clicks, making it possible to create presentations, instructions, and configurators with color switchers or variants. 
One exciting feature in design mode is the floating UI. This tool helps you create custom UI elements that can be assigned actions in the interact mode, enabling you to design your own branded UI product configurator. The different modes are seamlessly connected, allowing you to switch between them effortlessly to make any necessary changes. To see your creation come to life, use the preview mode. It showcases how your design will appear when shared via a link or embedded on a website. On the side, you'll find helpful tips for optimizing your project to ensure faster loading times. Vectory provides various tools, such as the Simplify modifier, which helps optimize your 3D designs. To capture a specific angle for the viewer, you can add a camera and adjust settings like responsiveness, ensuring the most important parts of your scene are visible on any screen resolution. Once your interactive design is ready, sharing it is a breeze. You can send a single link or embed it on your website, presentation, or productivity tools like Miro. It's as simple as that. But here's the real game changer, adding an augmented reality icon. With this icon, anyone can preview your design in augmented reality on any device, without the need for an app. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube and Instagram to get the latest news and tutorials. If you ever need assistance, join our Discord channel. And for more detailed information about each section of this tutorial, check out our documentation. Thanks for watching.